and welcome to your Go Market update for today, Monday the 23rd of May 2022. We hope you had a great weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here, and let's have a look at what's come across the news today. US equities recovered mid-session losses to close near neutral on Friday to end yet another volatile week. The S&P 500 managed to hold over bear market territory. We did see our eighth consecutive loss week on the Dow, and really the market appears to be very reluctant to push up from here in the absence of anything sustainably positive that's coming out in terms of data and the economic situation as a whole. However, US futures are positive in early trading and Asian indices have ignored that weak US lead from Friday and are also trading to the upside. The ASX is around about 0.4% to the upside as it processes the election result. At this stage, it's unclear whether we have a minority or a majority government and that may be a determining factor as to whether the market is happy from here. European futures are pointed to a mixed open but certainly looking far, far better than they did on Friday. And US dollar index continues to edge lower and trading around the two week lows we referenced on Friday as well. On the back of that, we're seeing gold move back towards 1850 or continues to move towards its top of the range around 115 on the Brent contract CFD. Copper's at three week highs with all of the commodity groups seeming just to edge higher again after really what's been a tumultuous month. The VIX continues to drop gradually and is around about that 28 level. Remember last week we spent most of it over 30 and that suggests a little bit of market calming, although historically 28 is still high. Bitcoin of course had a bit of a choppy week last week but looks settled for now around that 30,000 level again. Doesn't seem to be much reluctance to buy or sell significantly from that level. So it'll be interesting where the market sits over the next few days on cryptos generally. Not a massive amount coming out on the data front. We've got German business climate numbers this afternoon and US Chicago Fed National Activity Index this evening. They're really the only significant data points. We do ramp up a little bit towards the back end of the week. Despite the positive moves today in Asia, we would still consider these markets to be relatively high risk. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. If we start with the Australian US dollar, you can see we're trading under that resistance at around about 70.50 for most of last week. And perhaps that certainty resulting from the election being done now is helping the Aussie dollar push high. And you can see a clear breakthrough there up to 70.90 on the daily chart. If we look at the shorter term time frame, you can see it in more detail there. And that move above this 70.70 level looks important. So keep an eye on this pair, but also the other Aussie dollar crosses to see what's happening. On the ASX, zero is one we've been watching. XRO ticket code. You can see that 90.50 is short term resistance with support back here in March and February. And before we had this more recent drop towards the back end of April, we've recovered very nicely moving back up to test this key level here and if we get a breakthrough we should see it move towards $100 technically. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.